Good morning, YouTube Pie Smokers. So, I want to come on here, and I know everyone drives a car, and um, I don't know if many of you know this, but I'm in the repair business. I own a transmission shop uh, for the last 20, coming up 26 years. I've been in the trade almost 50. I'm dating myself. Wow. But um, in case you haven't noticed, and I'm sure you have, car prices are ridiculous. But worse than the car price is car repair. <clears throat> and here's my message to you. If you're in the market for a car, now, I'm not a financial expert, but I am consider I consider myself an expert in automotive repair because that's what I've been doing my whole life. But um, cars are getting too sophisticated and very, very expensive to fix. And if you buy a car with not a good warranty, and some of them, believe it or not, like Nissan, you may get a year or two, um, Toyota, even though I, Toyota, if you can afford it, is probably the least vehicle we repair here. Um, but their warranty is not that great either. Um, but if you can afford it, um, well, if it fits your lifestyle, you're better off leasing a car. If, a few criteria, you can stay under the mileage. If you're a person that takes care of their car, uh, you know, scratches and wear interior, you put seat covers, that to, so you don't have to pay for extra problems when you turn the car in. You'd be better off budgeting that money for the lease and every few minutes, so many years, turn it in and get another new car. Because, take any car I mentioned, if the warranty runs out and the transmissions go bad, uh, I'll take just the transmission, for example. Most transmissions today run minimum four to six or seven thousand dollars and up. Because eight, nine, ten speeds, and then you got a part problem, and then there's a lot of other issues. We're not talking about a two or three day repair here. You're going to be without your car for sub a substantially long time. The other thing, if you can't, you don't like the idea of a lease or it doesn't fit your lifestyle. Pick a car with a good warranty. Now, do not, when I say warranty, manufacturer's warranty. Not that crap you hear on the radio. Do not, I repeat, do not buy those. They're a ripoff, they're a scam, and they look for a way not to pay. Trust me. They look for a way not to pay, and here's how they do it. The first of all, they're always out of state, so you can't sue them. If... Let's say I price out a transmission job, and the way the procedure works, you drop off the car. They tell me to get authorization from the customer to take it apart to see what's wrong. I take it apart. I itemize the bill. Now the game starts. They send out an adjuster usually. But before that, the other scam they do, they want to see all your service records. Even though it has nothing to do with the transmission, they want to see if you change the oil. If you can't produce those records... They say, well, based on that, we can't warranty this. So that's the first hurdle. If they do, you do have the receipts because you're organized and I'm telling you. Then, if they can find a unit in Bum F Egypt somewhere, they don't care how many miles it is, as long as they can get that unit cheap. That's the one they'll approve, and then they'll give me a, a small amount of labor to put that transmission in. They will not allow a rebuild in many cases. So you're left holding the bag for a policy you paid for that does not service you well. Now, they're not all like that, but there's so many, I can't tell you which ones are good and which ones are bad. But most of them, as a rule, are bad. You're better off, instead of taking that policy, take that money... They're usually high, you know, eighteen to two thousand dollars and up. Put it in the side, call it a car fund, and every so often add to that car fund ten dollars a month or twenty dollars a month, whatever you can afford to build that envelope up so you can prepare for the repairs. 
if that doesn't work for you, then pick a Hyundai or Kia. They offer a 100,000-mile warranty. GM certified pre-owned used to offer 100,000. I think they still do. So that's another option, and that's from the manufacturer. Those are the only warranties you want, and those are the cars you want. Kia's had some engine problems lately, but they make good on it. It doesn't help if you're without a car, unfortunately, but um, most manufacturers are having some engine problems because they went to a low-friction oil ring, and they're burning oil. You know, they're trying to meet the CAFE standards of our lovely government, and that's why they're doing it. That's why they got zero-weight motor oil now. Uh, they're trying to make the cars lighter with composite material, which is driving the cost up. And um, all to meet the fuel standards, because the fuel standards, in my opinion, are a little too strict, and it's hard to meet. So they've got to come up with these sophisticated 8, 9, 10-speed shut the engine off at a traffic light. All that adds to the cost of the vehicle, and thus the cost to the consumer. So the other option is look for a good used car older, even if it's a classic, there's a few benefits, believe it or not, uh, from owning a classic car. You can get old car insurance from Haggerty and places like that and pay one-tenth of what you're paying for your regular car. They're nice cars. You don't have the inspection problem usually with the state and emissions. So that's another option if you not need that 100% reliability because the older cars were not as reliable but they were very repairable and very affordable, and they still are, because those parts are just cheaper, and there's a lot out there. So um, there's your options. Lease, if it fits your lifestyle and you take care of your car. Shop based on warranty. Manufacturer's warranty, the longer the better. And when the warranty is up, think about getting rid of that car and trading it in. Because everything, as good as Toyota is, or Lexus, they'll fail too at some point. I mean, things do happen. and Or know this and build up a repair fund so you're ready. Anyway, hope that helps. I haven't done a message like that in a while. and uh, Check it out. Uh, think about it and... I mean, the price of cars, a pickup truck's eighty to $100,000 for a full-size pickup truck. Jeep Summit, they have a vehicle called the Summit, beautiful looking, $120,000. It's a Jeep. I'm a Jeep fan, but Jeeps are the cheapest, poorest made quality vehicle out there, sadly. I like them. You know, they say you got to like Jeep to have a Jeep, but they're not worth as plush as it is and nice looking, $120,000, please. Not good. Anyway, be well, stay safe, and thank you.